Gordon's got the ground game. It's a coach. This is Madden 19 on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll get a look at Melvin Gordon, fresh off a big game a week ago, as it'll be the L.A. Chargers taking on the Buffalo Bills. With that, let's get up to Buffalo for their home opener. Standing by for the call are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, they indeed love their football here in upstate New York as you look inside of New Era Field in Orchard Park. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago, they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle with the Los Angeles Chargers. Hello, everybody, with Charles Davis up. Now a play fake here on first down. He's got his tight end complete. It's green. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. And that was a good run. This was only one of nine guys to go over 1,000 yards in 2017. And I think you can't let him run wild here. What do you think, 100 yards, the measuring stick? Always. That is the threshold. You want to keep him under that if you want to play good defense. A charger first down. Rivers hooking up with Allen. I don't care who you put on him. He's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man. -man. Maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. A beautiful spin and room to run. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. All okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because things to go your way early and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate to throw it's Allen Benjamin with it over the middle and he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49 touches the football now Allen and Jones has it over the middle first connection we talk about the best strong safeties one word constantly comes up and that's instincts being able to diagnose run or pass and make the approach into a double team and it's intercepted trevor williams with a pin absolute disaster but another one here do you start to get a little worried you worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those intercept passing game here early on first quarter haven't we we have and i think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because number one they throw the short game until they stop it and if they're not going to say you could do more than one thing and i think if you play a strong safety in the nfl today you are a true hybrid part linebacker part and coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Three catches now this afternoon, the same number he had all of last week. Oh. Now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. And long and suddenly, the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Rivers. And this is going to be incomplete. Not the way they were hoping to begin the game. How about going and telling your defense, thank you. A huge thank you. You said didn't lead the points. Stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance. To nine. He's played 12 or more games every season as a running back. 30 years old this year. What do you see for his future? I still see a very bright future playoff drought before last season. And the Eagles, they won a Super Bowl without him. So, yeah, we forget just how special he is. I do down, and that's exactly what he did. Throwing on first down is Allen. Over the middle complete. It's Jones. And he'll be stopped right. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big Learn better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Go to their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it. Josh Adam with his first ever NFL touchdown pass as his guys are first out of the screen. Today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have the center eligible stuff, 
but still a lot of guys to account for. And almost picked off. That's the good news, and he's going to regale you with stats and scores from around the NFL here in the early games in Week 2. Think he questioned coming back for Week 2 having to work with us? I think he did. He's just happy that he is far away in Orlando. Here we go! for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying... Leopard! Leopard! Now Allen throwing on second down. Oh, he's got it wide open, complete! And he's got things tougher defensively, doesn't he? It really does, because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height... Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And he's got his tight end play. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll begin in East Rutherford with Miami visiting the Jets in an AFC East matchup. And they are just about ready to head to halftime with the Dolphins on top. Ryan Tannehill looking good. Two touchdown passes. From there, we head down south to Atlanta. To check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And for the moment, they find themselves trailing the visiting Carolina Panthers. Torrey Smith, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. Lastly, let's check in at our nation's capital. See what's happening with the Redskins at home at FedEx Field. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Indianapolis Colts. Josh Dotson, a touchdown reception. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. You and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Now in third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jatavis Brown. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and right at the 30. Now Allen to try again after the pick six. Over the middle and caught by the tight end play. 23 yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse in post game, always trying to get better. Play action. Now it's Allen. And this one is incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of that? It's a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Now the handoff comes to Gordon. Another miss. Still on his feet. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching the 21. On first and 10, Rivers. Now a hit, and Rivers lost the football. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Target against the zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball. Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. Left side here, caught by Clay. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Your team right now. Allen. Stride. But a running game can really benefit your team right now. Allen. Man, and he hits him in stride. Yards. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be. Team now for the second time here today. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And Hauschka's kick is good. Check, 380, 380. 
Now a second down throw for Rivers. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. If you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it, because if you go lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy with the right foot in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. A first down throw here for Rivers. Right side catch. This is Gates. Showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. He finds his receiver, Williams, for a charger touchdown. And now out come the Bills. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too quick. Now Jones is hit. He lost the football. And picked up by the Chargers. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. Let's see now, Charles. That's seven turnovers between last week and this week. Three here in this game, four in last week's game. You know I do my research, right? And I go all the way back to the best coaches that have ever been in this game. And all of them. Good God! Good God! First down, and they're going to throw it out. Wide open receiver complete. Coach, got the lead. Fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. Right? I did, did not. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Deshaun McCoy. His breaks the huddle, and his guys will go for two here. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been... Take your time, either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Over the middle, complete. That's Williams. And able to risk. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Rivers now to throw on first down. Caught by Gates, left side. He's to the 10. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A good pick up there, a 22. First down now, but that clock rolling. Again, it's Rivers. And this is caught now for a late... You know, you turn it over there, that's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. They'll look to throw. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. Back to throw. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. Up and hard after you played really well early, and then he kind of relaxed a little bit. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Matt Milano in there drop him as the clock continues to roll. Back to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. Allen, the intended receiver. Well, no, Brandon, there's no question. So for Buffalo, they make amends for their week one loss by winning their home opener. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Minnesota Vikings. Meanwhile, for our visitors, they will fall to one and one. And they'll have a chance at redemption next week at home against the Los Angeles Rams. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.